The Christmas Story. How would you explain it? How would you picture Christmas if you could frame it? The nativity, right? Shepherds watching their flocks by night. Wise men trekking whilst tracking a sat-nav starlight with Mary and Joseph, humbled by the sight of little baby Jesus tucked in tight. That's Christmas, right? Propped up with straw and reeds and a tray of animal feed and cushioned in. Hey, I know it sounds quite cosy and nice, Reality was, there was no room for the little guy on that Bethlehem night. He kept in a cradle. Animals as roommates. I'm not trying to pick holes in the state of the place. I'm just saying the way they were staying was just short of space. We talk about entrance. His birth from a dress meant Jesus literally arrived in the mess. But less about the birthplace and the state of the floor. I mean, there's more to the Christmas story than the deck of straw. Fit forward eight days. In the temple, this little guy's the reason for praise. From the lips of a guy called Sim who's in his old age. For years, Sim waited in anticipation, but then the old met the new. My eyes have seen your salvation. The newborn Jesus from messy manger to a passing of the bat and just eight days later, seeing the mess of the birth comes a new age. And what's more, the birth was foretold in a mess age. Which brings us back to the cast. At the nativity set, you see, it was a message that guided their stable footsteps. An angel postman popped round, said Mary'd found favour, a save the date declaration, you'll give birth to the saviour. He'd be son of the most high, born through the spirit, heir to David's throne, his reign without limit to Joseph. Call him Jesus, he really will bless, cause he came to save people from all their mess. To the shepherds, he's here to rescue. That's why he's come. The reason for good news of joy, he's the one. As for the wise men, they figured the news. They gave gifts and paid homage to little king of the Jews. See, God brought the message, so they entered the mess to see Jesus' arrival at the nativity set. But let's back up a sec. See this? Rhetoric rings a bell. Back in the day, Isaiah waxed lyrical about a future, Emmanuel, God with us, one who'll be central to the story of forgiveness. So zoom out from the Christmas postcard, a message 700 years prior. He'll be a light to the searchers that spread salvation, says Isaiah. See, the angel's news, it wasn't new. In fact, these nativity messages echoed God's promises right through the ages. These messages read Jesus, speaking hope to the earth, predicting his arrival centuries before the birth. Thing is, when Christmas comes round, maybe there's a danger. Then we go Pinterest with Christmas and just pin up the manger in the nativity scene. It's like rating a whole film by watching one scene or thinking you know a novel because you had a quick look. So you get the whole story by skim reading one page in a book. And what I said before, I bought him born in the mess and the deck out of straw. Maybe it could also be a metaphor for all the mistakes, all the messiness in life and what that creates. All the stuff in this world that just doesn't sit right. There was a reason he was born on that first Christmas night. He was born in the mess to make the wrong right. This is the message of hope. Because out of the mess, saw God news birth that will certainly bless. Frame the stable, sure, but don't miss the picture. It was a message declared since the beginning of scripture. A war in the mess, but there's only one victor. A heel bruised, but be good news for sure. The very promise became flesh in that dead goat of straw. See, from the mess comes a message and there's none that is higher. Because what follows the mess is I-A-H, mess, I am.